News breaking around 3 a.m. Eastern, AstraZeneca releasing the efficacy numbers from its U.S. vaccine clinical trial. And Meg Terrell has been waiting patiently uh, with these numbers. Um, they're, they're good, Meg. They, they're not in the 90s, but all these vaccines, give me any of them. Twice. Six times. Ex Exactly, Joe. This one would be twice. It is a two-shot vaccine from AstraZeneca. These were highly anticipated results from the U.S. trial of AstraZeneca and Oxford's vaccine of 32,000 people. The headline number, 79% efficacy against symptomatic disease. They say it was 100% effective against severe disease and hospitalization. And they say for people who are over 65, this was an important group because there were some questions about efficacy in this group. 80% efficacy for folks 65 and older. Uh, now, they also said it was well tolerated in this clinical trial, and they specifically looked at whether there was a risk of clotting, for example, because, of course, there are those concerns in Europe. And they said there were no safety concerns, including uh, around clotting in the trial. Now, this was run in the U.S., Peru and Chile, uh, more than 32,000 people. And they said they saw 141 symptomatic cases here at this interim look. So they are going to continue uh, to analyze these data and then file for emergency use authorization in the United States in the coming weeks. Now, guys, we mentioned this is a two-shot vaccine. They gave the doses four weeks apart. And, and interestingly, they saw actually in previous trials that when they spaced those doses farther apart, more than 12 weeks, the efficacy number actually went up. And so it'll be very interesting to see what their strategy is with the FDA uh, and what the dosing strategy turns out to be. But 79% efficacy higher, I think, than many people expected for these results, given what we've seen around the world so far. Um, and guys, this is a vaccine that can be stored in the fridge for six months, so that makes it easier to administer. There are some remaining questions, though. That 100% efficacy against severe disease, we don't know how many cases there were in the placebo group of severe disease or hospitalizations, so those will be further data we'll be looking for. In addition to the presence of variants in the trial, we don't know, you know what, what makeup of variants there were here in the U.S., Peru, and Chile in this trial, guys. But pretty positive results here for AstraZeneca this morning, Joe. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.